Can you get to level 99 before the end of the first dungeon in Persona 4? Well, yes. But it's going to be tedious. So the first thing to keep in mind going into this is the Persona 4 is a deeply, deeply broken game. And you need to use this to your advantage if you want to do this horrible, ridiculous thing that borders on self-harm. By fusing the Persona Kaiwan, a level 24 Persona, on a day where the fusion forecast has skill change, it is possible for Tetrakarn to change into Victory Cry. Victory Cry is a passive skill that makes it so that every time you win a battle with that Persona out, you fully restore HP and SP at the end of that battle. Since the player character now has access to theoretically infinite HP and SP, that means the player character can grind as high as they want. So when people talk about this glitch, most of them are referring to June 24th or sometime in May to do it, but skill change shows up as early as April 24th, so wouldn't it be possible to do it then? Into Zork for every single Another option, card. or you don't get food. Victor card! <gasps> we got it! Ooh. 16th try! Yeah, something I like that. Nailed it. So Victory Cry skill change is, in theory, available any day on the calendar where skill change is the fusion forecast. I don't know if it's available earlier on any Persona than Kaiwan at level 24. That's not my area of expertise. All I know is that it's possible. So if you, for some bizarre reason, wanted to recreate this challenge yourself, here's the general strategy I went with. First things first, everything up until the first day where you can run around Yukiko's dungeon basically plays itself and there's nothing you can do to make it go faster or slower. Just do as the game tells you at that point. Once you get to April 17th, you're finally allowed to go into Yukiko's dungeon, but you're still locked to the first floor. At this point, what you want to do is you want to try to get the Persona Angel, which has access to regenerate at level 8. By the time you get regenerate, you should be one-shotting just about every combat encounter on that floor, so you're safe to head up at that point. I personally ground up to level 10, but I just wanted to be thorough. It's important to note with my playthrough that I'm doing this on the easiest difficulty. Is this possible on harder difficulties? Yes, absolutely. But it's not necessarily harder as much as it is more tedious. The main change in difficulty in Persona 4 is that the game stops hiding its one-shot abilities from you. So, while you can do this on harder difficulties, it may end up being more trial and error, and you may end up losing more time to deaths. Playing on the easiest difficulty means that enemies consistently do pretty low damage to you, but it also gives you access to a free revival token that works if you get knocked out in combat and is active a certain number of times. I only ended up using it once, and that was more out of laziness than it was an actual need. Again, doing this on the harder difficulties is possible, but I don't recommend it because it's way more tedious, and this is already the most tedious thing you could possibly try to do with your time. Once you get Angel with Regenerate, go fight Shadow Chie and then be done for the day. The next time you're able to enter Yukiko's castle is the very next day, and at that point you can, or you can wait until the day before skill change, or even the day of skill change on April 24th. Your main goal at this point is just to grind up as much as you can until you're able to unlock Sarasvati. With Sarasvati in a couple levels, you gain access to Invigorate, which will restore your SP in the same way that Regenerate stores your HP. And considering that you're going to be running out of SP way more than HP, that's the more pressing matter. Once you have Invigorate, it's really just a matter of grinding up to level 24 and then waiting for April 24th when you confuse Kaiwan. Now, conventional wisdom on Victory Cry Kaiwan puts a lot more conditions in front of fusing it, which makes it a lot easier to actually get Victory Cry. You can totally do this. If you're a coward... In actuality, you probably want to do it the way the guide tells you. I didn't, and it took me somewhere around 100 to 150 fusion attempts. It's not a good time, but at the point where you're committing to this run, you already clearly don't care about how you use your own time. And then once you get Victory Cry, congratulations! The run is over, at least the interactive part of it. Now you just get to waste your time. Forever. Playing the same dungeon for a thousand hours. Or alternatively, you could not do that. I recommend the second one. However, if you're still curious to see what this looks like, I'm streaming my attempt to hit that mark over on Twitch, and I'm not even going to ask you for a like goal before I go for it. This is a cry for help.